Hey guys, this is the part 2 of DHCP snooping configurations. In the previous video, we saw that attacker came online with a fake DHCP server, start assigning IP addresses to, to the other users, and redirecting traffic to itself, and performing a man-in-the-middle attack. In this video, we are going to take a look at uh, configuring DHCP snooping to avoid this kind of a situation, and, uh, and creating an untrusted port for DHCP servers, so the users, if they install a DHCP server in their machines, they won't be able to assign IP addresses and uh, the other credentials to other users. Okay, so first of all, we'll enable DHCP snooping globally. And we'll enable DHCP snooping for VLAN 2. Okay, and uh, so that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, this will create, uh, this will make all the ports uh, on VLAN 2 by default untrusted. So VLAN 2 should not have any DHCP servers, and if if there's a legitimate v, uh, DHCP server at VLAN 2, we have to explicitly go to that port and make it. A trusted port for DHCP snooping. I'm not going to do that here because we don't have any uh, DHCP servers uh, in VLAN 2. We only have users. So, and also that, but IP DHCP snooping is going to create a database uh, with the assigned IP addresses from DHCP servers and the MAC addresses of the clients. Uh, we want to keep this database when the switch re uh, reloads. Uh, so we are going to save this database into a flash, into the flash. So for that, we configure DHCP snooping database, and then we can uh, configure the location and also the name of the file. So I'll name this as DHCP database. DHCP snooping database uh, write succeeded. So essentially what it means is that it already it created that uh, file. Um, we can verify that we could do DIR flash and we see that file is uh, created. Uh, if I do more flash, uh, you will see these headers of this file. Uh, it's the DHCP snooping. And right now there's no uh, entries uh, on this file. In the previous video, we saw that. Uh, the client uh, got an IP address from this uh, the false DHCP server uh, and also set uh, its default gateway to the attacker machine. So now what we'll do is let's do a uh, release and renew. And now you see that we didn't get any IP addresses from that uh, the the false DHCP server, the fake DHCP server. Uh, we got an IP address from that legitimate uh, DHCP server. Let me make sure that 10.1.1.1, the real DHCP server over here. So let's take a look at the database. Uh, how that been created? Okay, you see that uh, we see the uh, the database is updated with the IP address that was assigned to the client. This IP address and also uh, the MAC address of the client. Sorry, it's over here, E4D1, E4D1, and the port 
where the client is connected. So this database is very important because in the the next uh, videos we'll take a look at uh, other features of the catalyst switches uh, like dynamic op inspections and so forth. And uh, that uh, the, those features actually utilize uh, the this DHCP snooping database. Um, and also you can execute a couple of show commands show IP DHCP snooping uh, will show you the, uh, the existing configuration DHCP snooping is configured for VLAN 2 and DHCP snooping is operational on VLAN 2 and also uh, statistics Can check the details. Alright, so this uh, this is pretty much uh, all we need to do to prevent this kind of a scenario and to avoid a user uh, installing a GHCP server and assigning IP addresses to other users. Thank you.